bowl right here. So it's just a quick little. Just a little oh, bit. Yeah, it's, it, there it is. Oh, yeah. Dang, that, that thing is big. Dude, bro, they're all Wow. Yeah, bro, they're all <laughs> it's all like that. Dang, dude. Oh, a little sheep right there. Oh, there we go. The tail, both. Just time to go through. Nice. Wow, look at that. Got him. <laughs> That's Thank you, Egg. That was one with the uh, the eggs on it. Oh, lighter. Right there. Got a hook though. Calico. Smaller one. I've been using all the ghost shrimp with the egg. Right on. Thank you. Big old skull bin. Big skull bin. Gotta be careful. Rockfish. Gotta go back. To add to the fish cakes. Got him. Got a piece head. Another one. Throw these two back and keep fishing. Try to get a bigger one. Go. Yes! I was looking for. Good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon. It's your buddy Mikey here, SD Fishing Sips, Wednesday, March 13, 2024. I'm here in Mission Bay, San Diego, Mission Point Park. And we're gonna be doing a little bit of ghost shrimp pumping with Glenn from Sand Dog. My gear right here, we're gonna walk over. There he is, he's already pumping away. He goes out there in deeper water and he has a little bait bucket. I got a backwards setup. We'll go talk to Glenn, get the expert advice. The tide's still sucking out. It's gonna be getting low at five o'clock. It's like three o'clock right now. Yeah, yeah, that's why I saw you go. Yeah, I've got two already. You already got two? Yeah, they're... So what are you looking for? Just look for holes that are like, I'll show you right now. Okay, yeah, let me, let me roll up my pants. I'm all ass backward. I thought that you walk that it was more flat stretch and you walk out uh, like Dog Beach. It gets real low tide and flat. And you walk out of ways and it will be all wet and then you look for the bubbles. Um, here, you just look at, there's holes everywhere. You... Like it's more important to know what not to pump. Like there's some, anytime you see where there's a bigger hole and a little hole right next to it, that's a clam or something. Like I've never gotten something. Out so of a single, you want to pump the single, single holes? holes? And that eliminates about half of them. So we'll just find the single holes and you'll see, they'll look fairly new. They'll be fairly round shaped and this and that. Like you can tell like something's been in, you know, dug this recently. Yeah. But sometimes there's stuff in there and sometimes they're not, but it's like, and then you gotta dig it down into the sand, or do you just? What I do is I'll like, because I have the plastic one and not the. the that's one, yeah, that's what I got the same style. It yeah. Has to be in the water a little bit to create the suction, so that's why I'm always like ankle deep, knee deep, or whatever. That's but what I'll, I saw. Yeah. But what I'll do is I'll push down just a little bit and pull at the same time, and you know it creates that suction and pulls it up. And I usually do two pumps. You know what I mean? After two pumps, because they're pretty close. They're anywhere between six and twelve inches. They're not like. A foot and a half, two feet down there. You know what I mean. So it's like one pump, two pumps. If there's nothing there, that's. Key. And then, and then after you pump it, then what? It it sucks sand and water up into the pump. Yep, it just sucks everything. Sand, water. And, and then, and then you spit it into your bucket. No, no, you just spit it right next to the hole, and you'll see a pink thing go bloop, flop out, and it'll start looking around because it's going to be dazed and confused. Oh, <laughs> so gotcha. You just kind of like, what the hell? And crawls around. You just take your net. And he goes. And so you literally just walk around looking for those things and just press and pull. Nope. Move on. Yeah, and then you just spit it out and scoop it with the net. Okay. Yep. Now the other thing is you got an awesome bucket, but I'll keep, I actually brought you an extra one of these. The, I well, I was now I was seeing it's better to have that style, right? Yep. And I, oh yeah, because what I do. You can have it floating right there in the water by you. I saw that. And you have a, a little carabiner set up on your belt loop. Yep. I just tied it. I just double knot my thing right here yeah. so it just floats around next to me and it's funny this hole just happened to happen one day and I'm like <laughs> this is perfect for my bait scoop <laughs> yeah so literally I tell Roxanne the wife I'm like hey where's my uh, shrimp pumping shorts she knows which ones they are because they got the built-in bait scoop 
All right, I'm gonna make it happen with my setup right here. And I brought you everything to do this, so I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get it from the car. Oh, really? Yep. So you're gonna have an easy time. It's not you're not you're gonna have to be set up just like me. Thank you, Glenn. Oh, you're the man. Brother. I figured because I remember. Sand the dog hooking it up. Always look it out. I remember, and I got you one of these. Dang! Because like the big one, dude. It's like oh, these are all things that when I come. Yeah, no, that's I'm why I wanted to learn. I wanted to learn from you yeah. the right way to do it. Yeah, I trust me. I went through all this crap. I'm like, I bet he's gonna build it, bring up bigger. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what everybody does. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm gonna get him a little wood. I'm gonna bring a bucket. So I'll be right back. I'm gonna grab you a bucket. I have a smaller uh, bait bucket, but I left it at home with the little battery aerator on it. You know. Oh yeah. 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 These things are great, dude, because they like dude, they live forever. Like, if you were gonna go fishing tomorrow, you could put these like, leave them in here with just a little bit of water, and they'll stay alive. They'll stay alive for a couple of days, because they just need to have their gills wet, and they'll absorb air for a couple of days. Like, they'll they'll still be they'll be lethargic as a mofo, <laughs> but they'll still be alive. And if you took them down here, dunked them in the water, in like ten seconds, they'll be like, da -da 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 -da, and you're ready to roll. They'll stay alive for like two days on like a. A tray with uh, napkins on top, or yeah. towels that are moist, or in the bucket with just a little bit of water. But you can't have them all piled up. Like you can't have them this deep with this much water. The ones on top will be got it. Be in rough shape. But cool. I usually keep them in a tray because like, they all lay flat. I put a little bit of water on the bottom, put the napkins on top, and drench those, and they all just kind of stay right. There. That's if you're going to use them in the next couple of days. But we're going to be using them on Sunday. Then so I what are you going to do? I freeze them, and honestly, how? I what's your process of free, same thing? Lay them in a single layer, no, no, or do you? Dude, dump them in a vac in a plastic baggie and put them in the freezer. Yeah, it's not going to sound YouTube friendly. <laughs> <laughs> no. You just take them out. I put them in a tray and then I drain the water out because I don't want to freeze them in the water. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I put them like in a tray and just drain all the water out and then I just put them in the bag. Thank okay. You for your service. Yeah. And into the freezer. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Got it. Thank you, guys. Let me go get uh, the stuff from the car real quick. Here's Glenn's pump. I got mine at Squid Co. You can pick up your pump at Squid Co. Don't forget, 5% off code name Mikey for online orders at Squid Co. You can pick it up in person. But did you make your pump? Heck no. No, where'd you buy yours at? Um, Seaforth. I yeah. think it was like 50 bucks or something, 55 bucks. I, did you make yours? No, I bought that at Squid Co. Yeah, that's like, they're, for the material, it's like 25 or 30 bucks. Or I could pay an extra 20 and they have the material, put it together, and I don't have to do a damn thing. So I voted for that. <laughs> Here's this. You can awesome. attach it to anything that you have. Yeah, clip, now I'm going to go my bell loop, yeah. Um, and then you have a net. I give you a Yeah, net. that little net right here. Yeah. And the reason I do it like this is because when I put it in my pocket, eventually just the pocket gets soaked, but it's like it's not the end of the world or nothing. Oh, else. I see what you're saying. Because you're uh, scooping the water. So I yeah. was, I'll take it, just bang it against the thing, like ding, 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 just so it's not soaked. And I just drop it right here. I used to put it right here, but then this pocket just gets drenched because I can't put it like this because it'll fall out. Gotcha. That's why the reason that, yeah, that's it. Yours I mean, is deep enough. Yeah. But mine isn't. It, so. Okay. Awesome. Let's get it. Yep. About to load up. Go shrimp pumping. <laughs> I love it. I think this is the first time I've done this, really. Yeah. So how deep of water do you need to go? Just anywhere around here. Like you'll just start seeing holes anywhere. So I see like a hole right here. Boom. There's two of them right yeah. here. Yeah. I'll see if I can find the one, the ones you don't pump because. Well, you go all the way out. Here, let me show you. I'll show you the. It's you'll waste not waste a lot of energy. Yeah, I you'll just make yourself sore. All right, here's a hole right here. So it's just a quick little. Oh yeah, you only have to do a little bit. Yeah, it's there. It is. Oh yeah. And you just. Pop, oh yeah. Pops out. Dang, that, that thing is big. Dude, bro, they're all... Wow. Yeah, bro, there, there's really big ones in here. This is a, a great spot, bro. <laughs> it's all like that first Pump master right here. Sweet. And then you put them in uh, here. Then I just dump them. I just push the bucket open. The easiest thing to do is just use one hand to push the thing open and use the other hand to flip it in. Gotcha. Do you need to make the string longer? Because I have a, a string to make it longer if it's too... No. Because what I'll do is just go like this. When I have them, I'll just go... Boop. Oh, I gotcha. Leave it. You just leave it in the water. Okay. Flip that sucker in. Yep. But that's it, bro. You just kind of give it a couple quick... Was that steps. another... Is that another little baby one? No, that's a tiny piece of his leg or something. We all pump him out. 
But okay, I want to try these. Yeah, it's dude, it's. Oh, there's there's one right now. Push down a little bit and pull up at the same time, and you just have to go down a little bit. And it's like they're either in there or they're not, and you just move on to the next one. I'll move away from you a little bit so I don't create a bunch of dust. You yeah. Up on your own. There he is. He's the master. Yeah! <laughs> okay, I see what you're saying. It's a flip? Yep, I just pushed the, pushed the tray down. And uh huh. Pull them in. That zip road, like, this spot is awesome. They're beautiful. You also get a lot of blood worms, bro. Really? Because that's a really good bait for shore fishing, right? Blood oh, yeah. worms? Yep, yeah, you'll get blood worms. Really? But like in some of those that's holes, what they look like they're that this, small. No, no, this is a small one. But that's their color. But that's their color. You see, they're a straight up worm. You know. Yeah. But and they get a lot bigger. But have you tried those out in the open ocean too? Uh, no, I've used them on the rocks over here. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You this... catch perch and all kinds of. A drop shot from the rocks. Yep. Exactly. It's like a bait and wait, you know what I mean? Just kind of yep. Some of them swim by and eat the worm. <laughs> there you go. Big one. Dude, you know what's funny? Sometimes you'll pump and they won't crawl out right away. You'll walk away. Or he's like... Walking by what the heck? Is it pregnant? Got a bunch of eggs? No, he has like a mutant claw. Oh, that's a or, male. Is it got a big white claw? Yeah, those one are the males. Of, do they only have one claw like that or both of the sides? No, just one. What? One side is huge. <laughs> yeah, the males have one that's side. That's crazy. A, wait, dude, you'll get, you'll get one that's twice this size. Really? Oh, yeah. You'll get one that's That claws. thing's already Ew, big. Bro. Yeah. You'll, yeah, you'll get... Crazy. What is it? Yeah. Yeah, you have to be in the deeper water that yeah, I thought that you were up and looking for holes up in this area. That's sand crabs that are up in the that area, right? Yeah, but you know, only on the beach side. I've never found a sand Oh wow. Crab. And I've never found a ghost shrimp over there. Yeah, yeah, I didn't There he is. He's on fire over there. He's on Another male. And the females are awesome right now because a lot of them got eggs. But you're allowed to keep the egg bearing? Oh, yeah. Not like lobsters? Nope. These seem like cockroaches. <laughs> They're everywhere. I thought that's what lobsters are cockroaches of the sea. Bugs. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been hooping at all recently? I didn't go one time. I didn't get my lobster. Perfect. Yeah. I was just like, I know I'm not. Did your buddies in Oceanside go this year? I got a bunch of buddies uh, up out of Oceanside and Pendleton and stuff. They went. They did pretty good. They, uh, especially in the early the year, the first couple of months, they were all doing great. I talked to uh, my buddy Dave. A couple days ago, I asked him about it. He's like, eh, you know, the last month or so, it's just you get some shorts, keep her here and Typical end of the season. Unless you go around the rains, that's the key. They really crawl when it's raining out. I got limits three times in a row just recently, or well, like about a month ago. Oh, you did the raining thing? Yeah, I went around the, those record rains. Remember when we got record rains? I went there and I got limits three times and then I went up and got Dungeness Crab in Northern California. Oh, that's awesome. So what'd you do with all the lobster you guys? I brought them up to a Super Bowl party. That's when I went up to, uh, oh, yeah. And then I also, I like it with eggs, bacon, lobster, and eggs, BLE. Oh, dude, that's not the record every hole. Oh, I thought there's only one in each hole. No, 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 I mean like, 
like the one that you, that's empty that you pump, like if you pump four of them and you get one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You pump four and get two. Yeah. Gotcha. They go at night, I think, because I've never seen them walking around unless I've pumped them out during the day. <laughs> So have you seen the egg ones yet? I just got an egg. Or... No, I have not. Oh wow, yeah, so it's like lobster eggs. Yep, and what's cool is when you freeze them, they stay orange and they stay on there. Like when you drop them down, it's just, they look just like this, but they're just dead. You know what I mean? Same color, same everything. So, you know, fish see that, you're like, the way I described it to the guys I went with last time, I said, it's like deviled eggs at Thanksgiving, bro. Yeah. You could have just had a full four-plate meal, but if someone shows up with a plate of deviled <laughs> eggs, you're going to have one. <laughs> That's these guys. If this thing drops down next to a fish, it's like, yeah. I'm full, but look at that. I can't turn down that protein. I'm going to love it. So Go shrimp eggs. Yeah, those, are, those are like deviled eggs for fish. I, I've always got room for Have you? You've caught in halibut on go shrimp too, right? Yeah. Didn't you do halibut? Ver I mean, ghost shrimp versus sardines for bait. Yep. I did What did you think? Ago, what I, one? I think it was one to one. Yeah. Throw a beard on that guy when you edit the video. The old beard. <laughs> 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 I think I'm talk. Yeah, Glenn's pumping the uh, clam now. You never know what you're gonna get. He got uh, part of a uh, blood worm before. Yeah. Right. Basically, I think I just cut him in half when I sucked him <laughs> up. <laughs> now he's got the clam. Back in he goes. There you go, bro. Dig down at some point. And the other thing, bro, is when the guy gets a little bit lower, and you see where the kelp line is right now, when he gets down a little bit lower, you'll start, I see the little halibuts all the time. Little baby halibuts, like, I'll oh, be, as you're as doing I'm it. Pumping, like, I'll get close, and it'll be from, like, me to that little, like, white shell, and I'll see, pew, and I'm like, oh, there's a little halibut. And you'll watch him, and he'll stop over here. Oh, that's cool. Stop over here. Yeah, you'll see, it's like a little halibut estuary in there when it's low time. They released a bunch of halibuts from Mission uh, SeaWorld a couple years ago, like last year or the year before, didn't they? I, I thought they did that like once a year. I thought. It was oh, like they do it every program. year? I yeah. Think so. I think it's like a program where they, because I know the halibut place is right there at the end of the, the base of the bridge on Ingram. Yep. I actually got invited to go there, but because I didn't have my COVID shot, they're like, oh, you can't come. That's also where I think you can drop off your white sea bass stones from the white sea bass heads. Oh, really? Yeah, or you drop off your head and then they can do a bunch of testing on it or something like that. Yeah, I heard they do a bunch of testing on the head. But I'm like, I want the stones out of there. Yeah, I know, exactly. <laughs> I think they might send it to you afterwards, but yeah, once you give them the head, you never know what's gonna happen. All right, there it is, got my first double. Two ghost shrimp from one pump. Got about 15 minutes left, maybe a dozen ghost shrimp. Here we go, back at the spot. There's my haul of ghost shrimp. I'm gonna pat them off. Put him in this bag right here. Oh. 13. Put these in the freezer, use them Sunday. Sunday for sheep's head. Go shrimp here. San Diego. <laughs>
morning, good morning. It's your buddy Mikey here as the Fish and Zip Sunday, March 17th, 2024. Just launched a solo skiff from Ski Beach here, Mission Bay, San Diego, California. Just living the dream, fishing all the time here. I was out yesterday in San Diego Bay. Ran into a bunch of people because it was a busy Saturday. I was fishing the light set up with the live bait. I got hooked up twice with live sardines, first from Dave and then from uh, Ryan and Neil. So I fished 14 pound test, caught like three short halibut and three or four sand bass. They were on the larger size of sand bass, short halibut. Then came in and Thursday or Wednesday earlier in the week after getting blown out in La Jolla on Monday and Friday. Friday was really bad. I ended up uh, pumping ghost shrimp with Glenn, Sand Dog. Pump ghost shrimp with him in Mission Bay here. We were uh, down at Mission Point Park during the low tide and got a bunch of ghost shrimp. So I probably got, I think I got 13 ghost shrimp. Glenn said that he's got some extras. I brought some squid too. I'm gonna fish that light, 14 pound setup. I don't know if I'm gonna keep the trap rig on it or not and fish the treble for, maybe I'll do that with the ghost shrimp on a treble hook. Try that, cause otherwise Glenn gave me some hooks to use for the, for the sheep's head. Let's see it. These are the hooks that Glenn said, size 1L beak hook bait holder. Must adds. So I got that, I'm gonna put on like a Carolina rig, fish for the sheep's head, so then I hope that I catch some nice big ones. Keepers, 12 is the minimum size. They open up sheep's head season earlier than rockfish. They open it up in March and then rockfish now opens in April. It used to open in March, but they pushed it back with the regulation changes. Same thing with the deep water stuff. But April it will open up. Until then, I'm gonna go out now and they make great fish cakes. So I wanna do a fish cake recipe. I also got my candy bar scrimps ready to go on my Baitcaster, my Penn Squall 400. I put it, switched it up on the Daiwa Proteus rod, 12 to 25 pound, and then I put fluorocarbon 20 pound liter of fluorocarbon on it. Got my yo-yo iron just ready in case. Same thing with the troller, but the name of the game today is gonna be Sheep's Head with Sand Dog, and he's got a bunch of people, kayakers. They already left earlier. They're on their way out, so I'm gonna meet them out there and fish the Point Loma kelp. We're gonna head to the south. I usually head to the north to go up to La Jolla, even though it's a beautiful day today to be up in La Jolla and fishing for yellowtail but I'm gonna make my way down the kelp. Maybe afterwards I'll cruise up there, Loy. I'm just kind of now intimidated by the wind factor, but it's all good. Beautiful time, we can go to Baja later on in the week. This uh, fish Ensenada and then Gonzaga Bay. Blackfin, sport fishing in Ensenada and then Juan Cook in Gonzaga Bay. A little bit of bait popping. If you haven't already, make sure you smash that subscribe, pound the like, show all the love and support that you all been doing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I mean, look at this. It's just another absolutely beautiful day to be on the water. And it's mellow. Not very many. It's, it's a big difference than yesterday with all those sailboats and everybody else. So, just thankful, grateful, living in a beautiful world. Beautiful time. Dang, I really want to head up into La Jolla. But I'm all set up. I'm gonna meet up with Glenn, stick to the plan. But <laughs> this is so, so fishy. I always wanna go for the yellowtail. I'm gonna save it though. There's a lot of yellowtail down in Ensenada. I wanna fish with Black Van Victor. And then also with Juan Cook. A lot of bait here though. Birds and bait here inside the bay, which is good. Got Chris in the house about to troll hard. What are you trolling with? A, a UV one, a pink UV one? Yeah. Yeah, is that what you like the best? No, uh, I like uh, the blue one. The blue Mac? Yeah. Have a big one to try. All right, let's do it. I'll see you 
you out there. <laughs> He's gonna smoke me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> How many guys you got out here? <laughs> Did you think it was going to be that much? <laughs> Any luck yet? No sheets head yet? Let's go see what's up with Glenn, the master, the ringleader of all of this. <laughs> here he is, the ringleader. I didn't know you were going to be rolling 15 deep. <laughs> Yeah. And uh, they go, hey, are you going to give us a mad anchors assemble? And I'm like, what do you mean? We're also going to be going to you when you find the kelp. I'm like, dang, dude. Oh, a little sheep right there. Oh, there we go. Yeah, what's the limit on them? Uh, 12 inches is the minimum. Yeah, 12 inches. And honestly, that looks a little short, well, huh? Honestly, we're going to catch ones that are bigger than that, yeah. dude. Like, oh, that that's a. A little rock fish or something. No, no, that's the sheep's head. Is it the sheep? The sheep. Yeah. Oh, is this it? is a little one. Yo. Yeah, I got about a, it's about a three and a half pounder or so. Anybody catch them over there? Uh, no, we're, we're a little slow over here. You just caught a fat one? Yeah, it's about three pounds. Give or take. Nice. How deep are you? Uh, I believe we're at like 40 right here. I'd like to fish in 60. Are you near Kelp? Where are you? Straight west of you. Yeah, there's Kelp. Is that Madison? Yeah. Is this Chris Madison? Yes, it is. Oh, I recognize that sexy voice. I saw him on the ride out <laughs> as he said he's going to troll. He said, is that him right there? Yeah. He he went out deep and he was trolling a little bit and then he, now he found a spot. Oh, okay. 
I'd like to go a little deeper. What pound test do you use? Do you think it makes a difference? Well, uh, just just because of the um, the ripping it through the kelp. Sometimes I usually I use like a fifty pound liter. I have some fifty pound with me if you need it. I just, I still have, uh, and then you like to go Carolina rig. Yeah, with just Carolina. those those single hooks that you gave me. Yep, it's just a Carolina with a single hook on the end of it. Yeah, 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 and chilling. fifty pound liter. Yep. And the only yeah, like I'll I take said, some. I'll take some fifty fit. pound if you have it. Yeah, I got it. the only reason I use fifty pound is because every now and then when you get through the kelp, it just try and pop it through. Keep going and see what happens. Yeah, that's good. Um, just. He said six pounder. catching sheep, just let us know and we'll reposition or. Try to find something better. Wait, that was a six pound sheep's head? Yeah, that's what he just said. Nice. Well, see, that's what, how it normally happens. It's like there's a six pounder here, a five pounder here, and then these guys are catching like, you know, a couple little ones. And this is like it's a fairly steady. Usually. How do you hook it? Um, let me see. I just that's one with eggs too, huh? Oh, yeah. Keep those bad boys. Yeah. Oh, no, the eggs fell off of that one. Oh, gotcha. Hold on, I'll get, I'll get some of the eggs right here for show. <laughs> I love your bag. <laughs> they go, oh, wow. So, yeah, go through the tail like that, all the way through, and then back up right next to the eggs. Oh, by, so both of them through the tail, both just like times that. you go through. Nice, wow, look at that. And then it Beauty. Just, and then you just drop it to where the Carolina rig, like if you see mine, like every now and then it'll get a little slack because you want the, the, the weight bouncing a little bit, just kind of jerking that guy around just a hair. It's not like it's action bait, you know what I mean? But just kind of bouncing. Dropping it down on the pen 15 star drag. Oh, we're shallow. It's one it right along the bottom, right? Yep. Yeah. I got it. How much weight are you using? I got six ounce. Uh, two or three, but six is fine. The only way I might change that is like if that weight gets like stuck. Oh, yeah. You're on? Yeah. Alright guys, if people are starting to get hooked up, I might be turning on. Dude, I told you, every time around 9.30, 9.45, 10 o'clock, something Maybe happens. Maybe I'll drop here. I was reeling up. I was going to move. I'm going to stay here for a little yeah, while we'll longer because because he got... He's hooked up. He's hooked up over there. What do you got? Got him! <laughs> yeah, <man. laughs> Thank you, Egg. That was one with the uh, the eggs on it. Right on. Sweet like, stuff. Like yeah. I saw the car one, a hole. <laughs> you you saw up. that? You put it on. Just boom. Well, this is a really nice flexi tip on this rod. Just remember, uh, once you get it, like try and get them in as quick as you can, because the big ones will dive into the kelp, and you will be fighting that mofo for a while. Yeah, he's like 14. Yeah, yeah, he's definitely a keeper. So what I would do because the limits too, I usually keep like the first keeper I get, and then after that it's like unless then then the big one unless it's a freaking beast. Sweet. Oh yeah. Oh, what did he get? Easy, easy. What'd you get? Calico. <laughs> if someone wants, wants to come and fish some of my bullshit, I'll go get some real fish. <laughs> no, no, I get you, dude. Don't throw none away. And uh, yeah, if anybody wants to take that spot, I would. It's weird. There are spots like that, like where there's bigger ones. Well, where they just hang out. Like we were um, fishing with this guy Richard, who's not here today. And it was like, he was like right there. And he was just, dude, every drop, 
boom, like a five pounder, boom, like a five pounder. So everybody got near him. It was, if people were catching. Then you usually uh, bleed them out. Um, yeah, I usually snip their gills, cut their gills or whatever. And, uh, You know, she could taste so good. Yeah, I know. I'm going to do fish cakes. <laughs> you already know. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing fish cakes. Here, bro, my Ikejime spike. Oh, you ikejime it? No, I, I didn't bring it. I should have oh. brought it. Oh, spider right there. Oh yeah, Mikey! Nice. Foul hook though, calico. I was just talking about how the calico loves the ghost shrimp too. Yep. Smaller one. I've been using all the ghost shrimp with the eggs. Do you ever put two on it? No, but I, I think some of the guys do. Bro, believe it or not, the like out of all the huge ones we've caught, at least half of them have been caught on the tiniest shrimp ever. Really? Dude, I'm telling you, like almost as big as the hook. It's weird. Put the big ones on the bigger shrimp too, but it's like, it seems like. Halibut too? Say again now? Halibut in the kelp or all the halibut on the ghost shrimp have come in the bay. The bay. The bay are out the out in the little He's on. flats and stuff like in here. Dude, but we had one guy hook up on a, a seven gill. Oh really? <laughs> on the ghost shrimp? I, you know, I think he was using sardines actually. But I know he caught a seven gill uh, a few months back in here when we were all Yeah, we got one more over here. Yeah, we got I love hearing it. Oh, nice when the bait tank gets the bait tank, it's the storage tank. Yeah, I got my, I got, I brought some squid too. Oh, that's good. I'm gonna jig uh, all my plastic, some squid down on the bottom. I got that, that white grub, double grub tail, the scrimps. Oh, yeah, the candy bar thing scrimps. Or whatever yeah. It is. I was actually about thinking about having a rig where I put that as the weight up above, like a drop shot, and then put a shrimp up above here yeah that's what i'm gonna do watch this oh that's actually so it looks like two baits i'm gonna go crazy here what's funny is whole squid on the scrimps oh. and then the drop shot with the squid with the oh my god <laughs> <laughs> no mikey's throwing down some crazy dude he's got the ghost shrimp and a whole squid on like the giant scampi mikey's going I don't know what he's going for, but it's. I want that big sheep's head in a halibut, two for one. A <laughs> sheep head halibut combo. I will. Time to move spots. I'm gonna go where these guys are catching the big ones. Just saw like a five or a six pounder. How big do you think that one was? That big one that he had. You caught a trigger fish? Chris got a trigger fish. Wow. Whoa. On the ghost shrimp in the kelp? Wow. They want to know about the trigger fish. I, I don't know the regulation. I don't think there's, I don't know, look it up. I only know for, cause I've only caught them in Mexico. Dang, that's the trigger fish right there. You got that right here? Dang. Trigger fish in here. Oh, you're gonna move all you I can just hold yeah, on yeah, to that yeah. piece. There you go. I'm not selfish. 
Right on, thank you. You already got two that you want to keep, or are you going to work for a bigger one? I'm going to work for a bigger one. Yeah. But, you know, it's all good. Like I said, right there, just if you throw on that side right there. Yeah, you're getting blasted every yeah. time and still getting some sheep's yeah, head. Just, uh, just hook it good and uh, just feel for that real uh, light pull at first. Um, let's see what happens. And I dropped it all the way to the bottom and I might just lift it up just a little bit here, you know. Yeah, I got a light you know, tip on it. Glenn was using a pretty heavy tip. This, dude, this one's one got right a light here, tip. I know, I yeah, this is, I'm surprised that. at how nice it is just to be able to hold in this spot. Thank you for letting yeah. me fish here. Yeah, no worries, I, good luck, man. Thanks. Got one sheep's head, one that I got when I first got out here, tied off next to Glenn. Here we go, getting bit. Got me again. Dang, I didn't even realize I had a fish on. Here we go. I just started reeling up. It was sitting down there. Heavier feeling fish. Big old sculpin. Foul hooked. Big sculpin. Just gotta be careful. On the go, shrimp. Sweet, I got ones with eggs. Big one? This one just got broke off. Spider. Little rockfish. Got to go back. Got me again, 1040. Got the sculpin now to add to the fish cakes. Still fishing this strand of kelp that John gave me. Been getting hit. Let's see. Yeah, see? Boom. Got him. Got sheep's head. Another one. Sweet.
trying to take off my jacket. Another sheep's head. I'm going to throw these two back and keep fishing. Try to get a bigger one. Next up, we got Mr. Sculpin. Watch out for those venomous spikes. Fishing those ghost shrimp here in the Point Loma kelp beds. Beautiful day. Let's get it. Got me. Another biter. A lot of fish right here. Almost out of my shrimp. Now I'm gonna go back to get Glenn's shrimp. Sculpin, make sure he's bled out. There we go.
bigger fish. Big sheep's head. Yes. Yes! That's the one that I wanted right there. Wow. Woo, that's why I threw back two in this area. You want to take over this strand right here? I'm done with it. John handed it over to me. Now, dude, I'm, I'm, I was back there catching fish every time. Uh, yeah, I know. It's really picking up, huh? I mean, I drop a bait down, I get bit. So. <laughs> nice, man. Yeah. There you go. There you go. I just wanted to come by and say thank you for those hours of entertainment. Oh, yeah. <laughs> My pleasure. What's your name? I'm Julie. Julie, we got Julie to the house, killing all the sheep's head. Good yeah, to see you out here. What's that? I said, great to ha see you out oh, here. Yeah. I've been like, ready to see you in La Jolla. In La Jolla? Yeah. yeah, when everybody was launching a couple years ago. Yeah. And yeah, people were flipping. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Billy got the sabiki stuck in his arm. Yeah. yeah <laughs> <laughs> crazy, right on, Julie. It's good to see you again. Thanks. looking for yes. look at that guy we're not gonna let him though Sheep's head here in the Point Loma Kelp on the ghost shrimp, fresh pumped. About 11 o'clock now. I was just talking with Alex and Josh over here. And uh, that's going to do it. That's it. That's all for Sheep's Head fishing out here. Point Loma Kelp with the ghost, ghost shrimp that I pumped out of Mission Bay. Then I put them down here on the Carolina rig and got crushed. Threw a couple of them back, two of them back, and kept two. A big old chunky one and a smaller one. Then I got a big, big uh, sculpin as well. So we'll make some fish cakes. Thank you all for watching, following along. Living the dream, fish hard, troll hard, one love. You get back.
final result there with the sheephead fish cakes. Chopped it up fine. Mixed it with onion, white onion, and jalapeno, and one egg, some panko breadcrumbs, Old Bay seasoning, and then fried it in the cast iron pan, maybe about five to six minutes aside, in butter and avocado oil. Made a little tartar sauce, just mayonnaise and sweet relish, a little bit of lemon juice. Let's give it a taste. Bust this big boy open and just give him a taste. Wow, that was bomb. Really, really good, thank you all for watching, following along, living the dream, next stop, Baja. We are going Baja, Gonzaga Bay, Enchanted Islands, and the one and only Golden Reef. Hopefully we see Captain Juan Cook. One love.